to check out the Nick Merck story. I don't know who it is, what's going on, but I type his name in YouTube and there's some bubbling shit. Um, look like some LGBTQ stuff, so let's peep. So Nick Merckx has to be one of the most successful streamers of the last decade, as he has gone from game to game carrying a massive fan base and really pushing the envelope in a lot of ways when it comes to streamers being taken seriously on a mainstream level. His fan base, which he calls the M-Fam, are extremely dedicated individuals, Damn. and unlike a lot of other streamers out there, a lot of the people watching this guy every single day are actually adults. When it comes to Nick Merckx, he's never really been involved in drama himself. Outside of a couple of personal business dealings gone wrong and beef with other streamers, he's pretty much always been universally loved and respected. But he is a guy who obviously wears his heart on his sleeve whenever possible, and I've always seen him as someone who is genuinely positive towards others. And that really brings me to the highlight of today's story, where Nick Merckx has been involved in some massive drama regarding the LGBTQ community, and now also Call of Duty and Activision as a company. So it all started when this tweet went out, anti-LGBT protesters- Americans are in a sad place right now. Let people love who they love and live with your own life. Brendan Murphy, anti-LGBT protesters attack pro-LGBT demonstrators outside the Glendale California School Board meeting. I, I read about this. Attack pro-LGBT demonstrators outside of a Glendale California School Board meeting. The school board is voting on recognizing June as Pride Month. Obviously at this point, Pride Month has become a very polarizing topic. You've seen people getting canceled and apologizing for homophobic rhetoric. And you've also seen companies like Target and Budweiser facing the wrath of the anti-woke crowd. So this other guy, MLG Puckett, who I believe is involved in the gaming sphere somehow, responds to this tweet by saying, This happened four blocks from my Overwatch League apartment. Americans are in a sad place right now. Let people love who they love and live your own life. And this is where Nick Merckx comes in as he responded to that tweet. They should leave little children alone. That's the real issue. Did he get canceled for that? Let me not jump ahead. But if he got canceled for that, dog, dog. And 13.4 million views. God damn, he got the juice. That's really all he said up until this point. But obviously with this tweet involving the LGBTQ community, it pretty much set a wildfire online as Nick was now actually faced with a lot of backlash from one side and also faced- How could I, I need to, I need to see it. Like, how can you attack that, bro? How can you attack that? So that's in the last video. I want to see someone justify involving children in y'all's debauchery. That's what it is when he means leave the children alone. Like, how can y'all justify that? Clearly, they justified it by canceling his ass over a, a tweet like that. It's crazy. And obviously, after receiving this backlash, Nick Merckx actually went on stream and expanded on his comments. I didn't like what I was seeing, man. Okay? It, it, I, I, saw, I saw parents bra brawling in front of a school with kids. I'm sure a lot of you guys can understand how that, that video would piss some people off. It pissed me off. Okay? Uh, now, I mean, full, full transparency, you know, I like... How do I put this? I gotta be very, very careful here. I don't want to piss anybody off. Fuck Make a lot of people mad. Most of my intention. I mean, listen, you, we, my wife and I just had a baby, brand, brand new father. We, we see in these kinds of videos, it's, it's, it's sad, but her and I agree that we, we want to be the ones to talk to our kid about things like that. I'm trying to keep it really simple just so we don't have to get too crazy about it. Cause there's nothing to get crazy about. It's just, it, it really They're going to attack it anyway, bro. I want to teach my kids about gender and sexuality. That is my responsibility. What the fuck is wrong with that? It's that simple. I think I just have a like a bigger perspective on this now, being a parent, than I, than I did maybe two months ago. You know, the video bothered me, right? I just don't think it's any place for a teacher or a school. I don't think it's the place to speak about things like that. And it's not that I think that it shouldn't be spoken about. If that's what you got from that tweet, then you're just wrong. I don't have any quarrel with anybody in here. I don't have any quarrel with people on, on the internet. Um, it wasn't an anti, I guess, gay, gay, gay tweet. <laughs> that wasn't what it was. Now, listen, if you have issues with me or if you have issues with that tweet, then, hey, listen, I'm down to agree to disagree. That's fine. We can agree to disagree. But if you think that I hate you because you're, you're a certain way, you just couldn't be any more wrong. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy that he got to say feel. that, bro. Like, you talking about the kids and shit, but it's going to, you feel offended personally because I'm just trying to protect innocence out here, bro. That, oh, this, damn, bro, these Fucking gay trans activists out here are fucking everything up for everybody, and it makes no sense, bro. 
Just get rid of them, dog. Get rid of them, bro. That's why I'm out here fighting in front of the high schools and shit, bro. It's, it's, it's gone past the point of no return, man. That I want to be the one and my wife wants to be the one to speak with our child about stuff like that. And that was that was that was the tweet. That was the tweet. So if you came here to hear that, I hope I hope you feel a little better about it. I didn't mean to upset anybody. I know that I did. I'm not apologizing about the tweets. I don't feel like I'm I don't feel like it's wrong. I'm gonna stand by what I said. I'm not gonna delete the tweet. It still seems like he walking you know, on I just want to make sure everybody with that exactly the point I was trying to make by tweeting by tweeting my response. And this is where Call of Duty gets involved, as they say. Due to recent events, we have removed the Nick Merck's operator bundle from the Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone store. We are focused on celebrating pride with our employees and our community. God damn. Woo, that's crazy, bruh. That's insanity, dog. Everybody out trying to be on that inclusive shit. And Call of Duty trying to get their little gay points, their little pride points for, you know, the woke credit score and shit. That's why you would do some shit like that. So I don't know how much money Nick Mertz provides for Call of Duty, bruh. But on this tweet alone, y'all better target these fuckers. Pun intended. <laughs> target these motherfuckers means... Do not target these motherfuckers. Do what y'all did to target to them. Boy, light these motherfuckers. All these motherfuckers, bro. Like, come on, dog. You don't do no shit like that. He pretty much said, I'm a parent. I want to protect my child's innocence. I ain't, I ain't attacking no gay nothing, no trans nothing, no LGBTQ nothing. Y'all made that assumption on y'all. When you assume shit, you look like an asshole, bro. So I hope y'all clap back at these fools. Y'all probably already done. I'm, I'm like two weeks late on this fucking story. My bad, but that's crazy. That's crazy, dog. Welcome to the new world order, bro. Clown fucking world, bro. Like, it's insane that we sitting here disagreeing and fighting and people getting canceled over shit that don't matter, bro. <laughs> it's some weak times. Weak times, weak times, weak times, bro. This would be the best point right now to just bombard america with some with some bullshit to 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 shake this shit up because we, we over here distracted on on dandelions when there's a motherfucking atomic bomb just waiting to hit our ass bro like yeah i hate to take it there but it's, it's going there bro like this shit don't mean nothing it don't mean nothing but for somehow we've we've came to the point where we're giving this nothing all the control over our babies over our language what we can do where we can go our safety bro like at the end of the day it don't fucking matter because when it comes to war all this shit is gonna fucking make everybody go where they're supposed to go just that we in these weak times and everybody's safe and they can do what they want. I'm a motherfucking gummy bear now. I'm a fucking water bottle now. I'm a goddamn fucking LED light now. I identify, I identify as a soundproof phone, bro. That's where we are, bro. Fucking idiots, dog. Hey, due to recent events, we have removed the that's Nick Merck's crazy. operator bundle. We are focused on celebrating pride with our employees and our community. That's and crazy. for those of you guys that don't know. Y'all out here trying to celebrate in the damn indoctrination of kids. That's what y'all celebrating, bro. I hope another hard ass game like pick Nick Merckx up. That's insane, bro. Oh, Nick Merckx had recently gotten his own skin in Call of Duty. For those of you guys that aren't privy to this information, it basically means that you can now play in the Call of Duty games with a character that looked like Nick Merckx, and Call of Duty has now removed oh, that character whoa, from huh? the game. It looked a little stinky. Yeah, bro, it's really me, man. That's crazy. Man, bro. Pay. I look angry, bro. <laughs> That's yeah. tough. Yeah, he's got no neck like me for real. That's tough. And even when they added this skin from the start, it was a little bit controversial for some people out there. Because while Nick Merckx did used to be a massive name in the Call of Duty community, it had actually been quite some time since he had actually played Call of Duty, and people felt like there were other streamers more deserving than him to receive this skin. Regardless, this is what they're talking about when they're saying they took his skin out of the game. And so that all went down yesterday, and now- Friends are created in good times, but families are built through adversity. That is a bar and a half times two multiplied by four. God, I said- my time is multiplied the same shit but you see what i'm saying bro that is a bar and a half appreciate all of you that have my back understand my position as a new father and recognize the love i have for all ain't no hate in this heart peace and love yeah well i'm i'm uh, i don't know much about nick Merckx. i don't know anything about nick Merckx besides this damn story but from just hearing this shit we on the same wave dog i salute you bro it's crazy